Well, howdy, 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 y'all. Tracy here and the critters. Y'all are on my mind first thing in the morning, so I'm doing this video just first thing before I even had any coffee, so bear with me. Let me show you the critter cam if I can. Let's just turn this upside down. Of course, you see, we got the Nixie right here, sun in her shell, being all beautiful. Right, Nixie Noodles? Such a poodle. Yep, that's her right there. Getting her love up on. Then, of course, where else would the Charlie be but right there? <laughs> Getting his love up on, right, Charlie? Oh, my goodness. Look, oh, I know. You're just so beautiful. Aren't you, Charlie? Are you beautiful? Oh, my goodness. You're just so beautiful. I'm so happy. Yeah. I'm just a good boy. And Mama's in the other chair. And Angel's up eating. Oh, well, that's the critter cam for today. They're all doing fine. Healthy. Happy. All that good kind of stuff, right, Nixie? It's so early. I haven't even started my tart burner over here yet. But that's okay. It is April 25th, 2017. Tuesday morning. It is 11.18 a.m. still. I told you guys it's early for me anyway. I got up about 10. Uh, turn my phone down. It'll be going off and all that kind of crazy stuff. Hi, Linda. <laughs> She's probably like, you're supposed to text me when you got up. I'm going to text you here in a minute. It is 68 degrees. Real fill 66. The high will be 80. The low will be 60. Beautiful blue sky. If we never did get any rain. Rain would have been nice. But we never got any. So anyway. Let's see. Um, yesterday. Brad went and got us lunch. From the Tropical Trader. They make the most. The most probably the most. It's been the best cheeseburger I've had probably from a restaurant in probably 30 years, I kid you not, for $9. And this thing is huge. I have to use a fork to eat it. Um, and uh, with fries and stuff, it's just excellent. Uh, so I told, I told Brad, I said, you know, rather than eating lunch out once a week, which we typically would do when we go shopping, why don't we just, you know, once a month, maybe eat out at Tropical Trader, or once a month, eat out at the China Buffet. You know, it'd be worth it uh, just to wait. So, um, uh, but then after we ate, Brad wasn't feeling well when he got up anyway, and I was kind of, uh, and then it kind of hit us after lunch and stuff. We both. We're not feeling well. He was just extremely tired, and I just did not feel good all of a sudden. Um, you know, I was having some IBS problems and stuff. So we decided to, after I talked him into it, just let's just take it easy. Let's let's lay down, take some naps, see if we feel better. Um, so we both did lay down, and we both took long naps. It was about two and a half hours, which is not typical for us. I still was not feeling that hot when I got up. He was feeling better. Um, so I painted and I loomed. And I'll show you that in a minute. Brad went outside. He started, he made me chicken noodle soup. Which I always want, without a doubt, whenever I'm sick, I want Brad's chicken noodle soup. Now you have to understand, when he makes this soup, he chucks it full of vegetables. Which I just love. And in fact, I had like... um. Three fourths of a bag of, of, you know, a small bag of spinach left. Um, and I said, well, why don't you put that in the soup? So you put that in the soup, you know, onions, celery. Um, we had some dehydrated, like, carrots and peppers and stuff still. Um, and uh, celery and onion, fresh mushrooms, and so much vegetables that you're able to cut the pasta down by half which is excellent and so he makes it all from scratch and it always does the trick always makes me feel better and then um uh 
uh, then I have a nice container, big container of it to work on all week. So that's excellent. So I'll have some of that here in a little bit. And so I, I did finish a painting last night. I'm going to have to turn this light on, I figure. I'm like, I don't know. Well, that don't make any sense. Like I said, it's early in the morning. Finish this. I'm going to have to lean way back here. This is, it's a 16 by 20, or 20 by 16 uh, abstract. A little bit closer, a lot of detail and stuff in this. So, I'm pretty sad. I've been kind of on a, enjoying, um, doing abstract lately. So, I'm, I said I was going to put that on my Etsy last night. I'm going to do it sometime today for sale. Um... And uh, I finished a couple hats last night when I was in the bedroom watching some Netflix and stuff. So I finished this toddler hat. This is some yarn, some dark brown I had. And then um, this is some of that um, variegated golden yarn that my friend Donna sent me. So I finished that. Really enjoying that. This is all yarn I had, so, so, this is the baby hat, of course, so I got those two done and add to the bag, um, so, yeah, I was busy still being productive, even though I didn't feel well, I like to still keep busy, um, that's important to me, um, Brad did, uh, call, and set up appointments for us to get our eyes examined. So we both need new glasses, especially him. Um, because it's been... Four years. And I know that's way too long to go, but, you know. When you're, you know, have some stuff going on, you end up, you know, making some choices on stuff like that, like we all do. So, uh, but we're just going to get them examined uh, and then get the prescription and then um, probably order from that. Is it Zena or Zana? Yeah, we're going to do that. Brad's very excited about having some sunglasses for the first time prescription. And so am I. And then we're going to each order a couple regular pair of glasses. You know, so we have a backup in case a pair breaks. Um, so... Anyway, we're going to do all that. We've seen quite a few videos where people have had some like, excuse me, good luck with them. Um, currently, oh, let me back up. So, Brad got a good night's sleep last night. I talked to him this morning before he went to work. He did get a good night's sleep, which is excellent. Um, and, um, I got a pretty good night's sleep. Um, uh. Both feeling better. I'm still not totally over the flu. Excuse me, young lady. That might be rude. Thank you. Um, no, ma'am. No. Nixie and Heidi. That's enough. Leave it be. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you. You're a good girl. Um, but, um, you know, I feel better than I did yesterday. Um, so currently... I'm watching for a freezer to be delivered. It's supposed to be out for delivery. It's not here yet, unless they dropped it off at the office, which I hope they didn't. Um, but, uh, yeah, so sometime today that freezer is going to be delivered, which um, Brad's excited for. That's part of the reason he was out working um Yesterday, we moved our picnic table. Each campsite comes with a picnic table all the way down the motorhome to because we have a couple of platforms built so we can put the freezer up on a platform underneath the canopy or the awning, and it still will then be covered with a um, uh, oh geez, what do you guys call them? Brain fog. Um, 
it's just like a drop cloth. You guys know, and I mean, I can't. Yes, exactly. I know you guys are all screaming. It's you know, but um, a tarp, tarp. Thank you. So it'll be covered with a tarp for when it rains. Um, that way it gave me more space. He set up the another long table and made it my workstation for painting and that's so nice that is so nice I can sit out there and paint and leave it and stuff so and I can also use the tarp to just cover that up so that's really nice I'm excited about that because um, that's the hardest thing about living in an RV and I've adapted with illuminating I have project bags everywhere but um is not being able to spread out painting and, and doing artwork and just be able to leave it, you know, or put it away quickly, you know, uh, but still not have to, um, just having it take a couple minutes to set back up. So that's really nice because uh, he did call a realtor yesterday and um, she wasn't very professional at all she acted like Brad felt like he was disturbing her coffee break or something and um she just said no there were no real rentals uh in this area I think there was one for sixteen hundred dollars a month like no um and uh you know she said well the everybody's moving out of Tallahassee they're still working in Tallahassee but they're moving out of Tallahassee into this area that's why there's no real rentals and, you know, but she gave us no options of, you know, contract for deeds. Because I've even seen some on their site that way. Or, you know, just getting some land or, you know, any, any, she didn't want to really even talk. So, it's like, we'll go to a different realtor company. But we're probably going to wait for now about three months and then reevaluate and stuff. Because, um... You know, see if my granddaughter can come out this summer and and stuff. So, it'll happen when it's supposed to happen. I don't want to move up Tallahassee. And there's nothing wrong with Tallahassee. I'm just a, not a big city gal. Never have been. And so, you know, I don't want that extreme hustle bustle, you know. Yeah, I don't want to do that at all. It's just not me. Like I said, I know a lot of people it is. It's just not Because you consider, for the last 18 years, I've lived in a tiny, well, for 17, I lived in a tiny 1,000, uh, the population was 1,000 for the longest time, and then it went up, did go up to 2,000 when they built new houses. Um, town, they didn't even have a grocery store or anything. Had a bar. Had a church. But... And then here, where we live, is not actually even in Panacea. It's on I, right on the bay. And, you know, I, I, you know, no. Just not who I am. So, anyway. So, it'll happen when, it, when it's meant to happen. I can't let myself get down about it. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I worry about that I'm not getting enough exercise because, um, you know, when you live in an RV, there's only so far you can't even pace. <laughs> it's basically when you have dogs that follow you everywhere. So, we're working on got the rollator out and I'm going to be going for some walks around here and then even going to a park with the dogs once we get their um, no pull harnesses. We need to buy an Nixie and Charlie each one, but Charlie's uh, probably we need extra large and he weighs out about 120 to 130 pounds and Nixie is a giant schnauzer she weighs out about 70 75 pounds I think um, so yeah we need to get a couple of those and we can work with them um, walk them and park and stuff too uh, but, uh, it'll all happen when it's supposed to happen. It will, you know. One thing I'm very grateful for is, is, um, 
I had all these canvases bought before we moved. I decided a uh, few years before we moved I was going to do a lot more painting. And I, I came across a deal with insanely great prices and, and bought like canvases on a number of different sizes. Back then we had extra money and everything, you know, and and so I bought them. And I'm really glad that I had all these extra canvases. I have not had to go buy any yet. I will probably another month or so probably need to, but, you know, um, what else? Hmm. I want to thank everybody for your generous outpouring of support. For those of you that have donated yarn, hopefully my package that Linda sent me comes in today. Yeah, we've been checking every day. Brad, Brad even stopped yesterday. You know he wasn't feeling well and everything. He drove all the way into Panacea to check the mail for me. Because I said, oh, I think Linda's package might be there. You know, I even, he even uh, stood in line and... Uh, Asked him at the uh, window and stuff, uh, just in case they hadn't had time to put the slip in the mailbox or anything. No, it hadn't come in yet. But um, yeah, so if if it if it does, and I'm sure it will. See, I'll do another video. But um, uh, that's about all that's really going on. I have no idea what to cook for dinner um, or anything, and I'm just thinking that coffee sounds really good right now. Brad will be home here in a little bit for lunch, so that's always nice. I really enjoy it when he gets to take an hour lunch. He can't in the evenings because since he's the, the only manager there, he, he cannot leave the store. If there's more than one manager there on the day shift, then, then he can take an hour lunch, and he does. And then, uh, oh, that's right, he said he was going to go over on his lunch and check the mail for me at the post office to see if that package had come in, Linda. So anyway, that's all that's really going on here. I hope everybody's having a great day. Tell me what you're doing in your neck of the woods, how the weather, you know. I think most of you guys now are getting spring, um, so, uh, which is always nice. The RV park is, is emptied out. Pretty nicely. It's emptied out about halfway, which is really nice. So, yeah. So, anyway, remember that I love you guys and I do cherish your friendship so much. And I do think you guys are awesome. And I will talk to you later. Right, Nixie? Right? What? What? They want to be fed. <laughs> Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.